We're good. We're we're here on another Mystic Brew with Ayanawa and Radagast. And uh, I was telling him, I do really don't want to do it. And he goes, don't you have a few minutes in you? So anyway, here we are. Vern, take it away. Well, the reason we were looking at maybe letting it go this week is the last one we did three days early on the cuff. And this one we're like three days late. And, um, and it's because of the, uh, Matt Khan said it well, uh, with his video, which was a month late, as one a month, it took two months this time before he put his new one out. It was called Facing Uncertainty. And I feel it's good to get it out there, but like, there's so much uncertainty. I mean, for many of us that can read the news, I mean, read the news properly, and the news, where it's coming from, and AM narrative. Um, things are getting really crazy out there. Now, from the political point of view, even from the Q point of view at the moment, um, there's people <laughs> crazy going on. Yeah, well, he hasn't been posting as far as I know for, he's been, he's been quiet for a few days. Is that true? Yeah, well, even I'm, I'm right on the ball on, on, on the ATS um, thread, you know, and I'm, 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 I'm two days behind. You know, that's just so unlike me. It's just that I've got so much going on. Um, there's lots of needs out there at the moment from... Um, okay, the X-22 yeah. report said he's been quiet for some days now. And I just imagine that in a quiet period, sometimes in a time of uncertainty, and when you're, when somebody who's normally kind of the guiding voice is suddenly not there, it's very interesting to watch what happens. Um, let you know how things are going. Very, yeah, um, I think that scatteredness is, um, oh, they, will, uh, they talk about the March, oh, I'm just saying, then to the table. Um, they talk about the March madness. And um, it feels it now. There's, there's a, there's, um, we're evolving. And, and it's not all party, party hats, you know, <laughs> uh, we're evolving. And uh, we have these these moments. Um, we were wa we're awaiting the next step, unknowingly, while we're in the step. And it feels like you're going to trip over at any moment, um, and you can't go backwards. Well, so you just keep it. At, at, at a time like this, sometimes I'm, I feel like part of my. Saving grace is kind of like the, using the tarot card symbolism of the fool. Mm. Being, at this, being at that zero point, because that's what the fool is, zero. Yeah. Um, the, big, the big thing, okay. um, Modi, that you talked about before we came on, and it's been so prevalent in my life, uh, not just because of the separation recently, is the connecting. Um, you know, we, we consider ourselves lucky. We have some beautiful, like-minded souls that we can connect with. And there, it feels like there's more and more of that happening. But just in general with everybody out there, I'm starting to connect. You know, I went for a, a sweat today um, at the local pool, the sauna and the steam room and the spa. And I noticed myself connecting with each person. As I walked in the door, I opened it for somebody. I paid the money. It was like a good connection. And when I left, that person smiled at me as I left. I didn't, you know, and I was like, oh, I can smile back. And I was in there, I was talking with people. And it's, I don't know if it's just me, or it's a micro macro thing where the connecting is happening on a higher scale. Even though there's this um, gap on a hot tin roof, feeling in different facets of my life, there is also that feeling of I'm actually connecting very strongly, especially with people I normally wouldn't connect with a wee bit more. Um, yeah, it, it's um, a multi, I talk about on, on, the, on the One Truth Forum about the lull, lull and multi. At the moment, there's um, a convergence of macro thought pattern. Uh, everybody's throwing their thought pattern 
country as a as a as a sect, as a religion, as a mindfulness temple into the newer sphere at the big city. And I don't think the micro is picking it up. The micro doesn't know how to what to pick up or how to pick it up, or if you know your own mind, it doesn't matter. But the ones that are the narrative they're trying to squash and suppress in that, they're not picking it up either. So that's helping the collective feel a bit crow. It's really hard to get feelings out on it, especially when you can't pinpoint it. Uh, um, if you're going to have new angels on earth, new angels on earth with the new templates that are coming in, they're already in, but they're opening up. And we know that the nurture's in there. We know that the vulnerability's in there. And I get this feeling of these new angels are here in, the, in that crystalline grid around the earth and within the earth. There seems to be a new angels. You know, what, how do you name an angel? You know, <laughs> there's a new angel about, what well, do you call it? Well, that, to me, that's why I thought you might, because, you know, in a private conversation, I, you know, shown you the Shakti cluster with yes. kind of placement of the wisdoms or, that surround the earth. They're tutelary deities, you know, tutelary. So they teach you things. But, you know, they're, they're also interactive. So for me, if people are starting to really attune to the earth and they're now connecting with these tutelary deities that are part of ancient part of the earth, but they have been forgotten and now being rediscovered, they're going to seem like new angels. Uh, let's see. The, the, I, I had a, as you were talking, I had a, a um, Queeneth, Q, had to be Q, U, E, E, N, I, T, H, Queeneth, Queeneth, there's something in there, Queeneth, Queeneth, anyway, that's, um, yeah, how do you name an angel? <laughs> well, actually, they want us to name them based on who we think they are, because they, they, because they kind of represent something much greater than what we would normally apply a name to. We usually apply a quality to it. But so, but if, but if in our, in our perception and the way, you know, we, the way we can kind of, our unique imagination and a beautiful imagination it can be, then we can name them and very often they we will name them something either something that embodies their like if like you know it, to me we are allowed to name them at least you know inter intermediately because this is part of our power this is us co-creating with them mm -hmm. this isn't about just sitting at the end waiting for a delivery it's like we deliver a little bit too and right away one of the things we can deliver is by I think this is, you seem like this to me, or this name is coming to me. This is what's coming, you know. So to, to, in most cases, especially if it's, if it's a pretty good, if you're really kind of nailing the energy, be like, okay, that'll be the name for me. Between, you know, between us, because it's, now it's personal. This, you know, these, these experiences we have using a, a common name for such a personal, that something that's going to be so personal for everybody. Because it's going to be tailored for them. It's going to be this. I mean, if, they, if you can, even if you can, the same tutelary deity, the same frequency is going to each of us is going to perceive that frequency differently to our own capacity and need in many cases. And so sometimes a name, too much description, to to, to for us to let us know that they're there, and we even bring our own names back and what our experiences are. That starts to get a little idea of, of what these about. That's how. Um, John Lamb Lash worked with the Shakti cluster in describing all the Malvidyas and the Dakinis that made up this constellation of tutelary deities, how they're in a telluric field, kind of emanating from the earth into the magnetic field and back in again through the zero point, just like a magnetic field does. And they're each mm -hmm. one is a discrete band of, of, of the wisdom goddess information and has the capacity to teach. 
That's why they're tutelary. Oh, cool. Uh, I'll, I'll, well, I'll, I'll try that tonight. I'll try that tonight. Um, Quinneth. I'll, I'll, I'll feel in. it'll be interesting. Yeah. It'd be nice to see other, others. Um, I know we've got a few shaman, what do you say, shaman? Shaman, sh shamanistic people um, are watching. It's great and, and listening. It'd be nice to have some feedback. Third dimensionally, mm. I'm in um, on that because it, it's a uh, you know new. Uh, it's, just, it's 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 an, it's a, it's a mind expanding thing because it's like new angels. What the heck does it? I love that. You know, oh, heck does that mean? Yeah. What the heaven does that mean? Oh my gosh! You know, being heaven on earth. Uh, um, um, of course, new angels. That makes sense. Yeah. And I got excited when I saw that and I read this little description. I went, ah, the new angels. Uh, and I mean, it just, again, because I'm, I'm interpreting it through how I would. But again, you and I doing these, these experiments and me sharing that particular thing with you a few days mm. earlier. And then all of a sudden, and if, if, if you were a little bit intrigued in it, then you might have attracted a new angel that from that group that, Figures that you know, maybe we could work together. And the thing is, with, with the um, the feminine energy of um, of the deities you were talking about, um, if you're coming, you know, if you're coming into this plane and you're new, who are you going to go have a drink with first? You know, mm. catch up with a few goddesses around. Yeah, and th there's no there's a reason why some of the the more ancient mystery things had some kind of like beer or wine there for that particular sacred day, because you maybe figure most people are living responsibly, you know they're kind of doing mm -hmm. things a certain way. Now we're going to focus on this, and we're going to let we're going to loosen the normal doors and walls that are up there, and but we're doing it for the sacred this isn't about getting drunk this is about a celebration of life that we can involve doing this but there's also you know there it was not as as portrayed um i mean it might even be wild wilder in certain ways but more sacred than was portrayed that, that's something i've seen on the internet quite prevalent at the moment is a dimensional speak i say dimensional speak i mean like um quant quantum this and quantum that and how is the future affecting the past and the now and uh, a lot of people really evaluating it and going um uh, how, if it could be done how would it be done are we doing it um how are the ancestors working in with deep in our, uh, our ancestors and there a lot of that talk going on but it's coming from a very scientific quarter you know so there's an expansion in that facet scientifically that they have to get out of their mind to understand the quantum or dimensional speak and experience and experimenting now there's no you know there's no use trying to understand the dimensions logically because they're outside of it and there's a lot of it going on and, and once again there's some I know I hark on about it, but some of these young ones um, are willing to, to cut across. Do you know what I mean? Um, they're logical. They're young. They're logical. They've gone through this differing schools, and they're willing to go and do an ayahuasca journey in Peru. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what their intuition is telling them. And all of a sudden, their logic gets split. Or they're starting to use both sides of their brain equally some mm -hmm. with the opening of the um, wisdom plan. You know, so it's like, um, and away they go. And if they're going to YouTube something, they're getting the, the followers they're getting are in that facet of science. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it's getting, it seems to be getting out there. And a lot of the older ones are, um, and I'll put myself in that bracket, they're wanting to understand where the young ones are coming from. Because we've had our avenues to to above and below, 
um, and our our conduit ways and um, for yourself, uh, Lash, and myself, um, other teachers. But it's like these young ones, are the ones that are tuning in to a different frequency because they are a different frequency. Here are the crystal, the rainbow children and everything else. So they're going to be doing it in a different way. Their crystalline form and structure, even their DNA and their time of birth, is charging out in a different way into, into the newosphere in the collective mind in a different way. I'm really interested because when I see it on the internet and it's coming out and I'm sitting there having having a problem with it, having a judgment, you know what I mean? Because when you see a way that's not your way, I don't have too much judgment. I still initially feel that resistance because it's not how I did it. Even how we talk sometimes, we have resistance to each other. We're fine because we'll, we'll either hold both of them together or we'll just let go, we're fine. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying the younger ones, when they're coming from these angles, where it feels like they're taking so many shortcuts, that's what it feels like to me. It's mm -hmm. like, oh, what if, what if, what if? You know, that's what, from my own experience, so, you know. Went on a wee bit of a tangent there, but, but um, it's just, it's, it's just something I'm seeing on the internet at the moment. It's like, wow, you know, some of the, there are only kids so Right? They're in their early twenties, some younger, but and and they're they're putting a, a speaker that's um that's changing. It's changing things. Now, it doesn't matter if you don't understand it. You just know that there's another way, and I've found it working. I don't even I even forget who. There's only a few people I'm able to kind of listen to everything they. A whole video these days, and a lot of them are the ones who are still kind of covering the ancient architecture of Tartaria angle or something in that you know realm. Mm. Um, but I'm starting to hear more and more people seeming to be getting our our story instead of history. More and more people are, are looking at history and realizing, okay, that is somebody else's story. Mm. Um, a narrative uh, we're seeing a design and people are starting to crack that and as they're cracking that there to me i think phylogenetic memory whatever call it wherever you want even to you know instruction from the new angels um <laughs> you know or like for me dakini mahavidya instruction but again those are just words new angels is as good an english word in many ways it, 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 it for me i mean I, I like it because it's user friendly um and it it also opens up a crack. The concept mm. of new angels, this is a new order. Mm. You know, that, that's what that word is, is a new order. I've got a very dear friend um, in New Zealand, uh, Lawrence Aotearoa, and he's going on a big journey at the moment. I'm watching him um, Facebook. Um, he's got highly involved again in men's circles. And there's a lot of women's circles out there the last five years I've recognized and seen. And they're very powerful. There is a more of the men and women's circles combined. But they're, they're um, a bit more futuristic in my mind anyway. Men's circles are doing the young ones are coming along. Um, once again, you know, they, they're moving fast. And, and I've seen on... Uh, from what um, Lauren shared, because they don't share much of the men's circle. Mm -hmm. One that he had been to, you had to have done a, a precursor men's circle. And he had done one like over 10 years ago. That made him valid to go to it. it was a high polluting men. But he was able to share that he got thrown. He just put a picture of a train wreck. The times are in at the moment, uncertainty. Um, he just put a picture of a train wreck, but he was acknowledging that was him. And the train wreck was in front of him. That's how I perceived it. Um, yeah. And um, so that's another facet again, the gatherings, the circles. They may not seem like spiritual gatherings, but the release of um, suffering is huge because it goes through the family lines. It goes through the generational lines. It goes through the future lines because they're no longer repeating 
you know. So this is happening worldwide. This is not something that is local to me. Now he's in the North Island nowadays, and he's doing this up in the North Island. Um, and there's a lot going on in the South Island too. It's like we're aware of what's happening in Australia. There's a lot more um, people are looking for positions in Australia. Um, a bit like America, obvious that it's fraudulent. Uh, um, um, being led led by or carrot. You cut out a little bit there. There's been a few interruptions. Most of them have been not at terrible times. Okay. Just so you know. I didn't know. So, um, yeah. Well, I hope there's not too many interruptions in it, but we were going to do a short and sweet one anyway. Yeah. Um, but I, um, I might even want to title this, you know, two mystics talk about new angels. Ooh. Yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's good. It's, you know, uh, how often do you have new angels, you know? Uh, no, I, I really want, I like, the, I like that concept. <laughs> Who knew? It's really interesting sometimes. Um, you just had a weed cork there. It wasn't much. And just saying, yeah, I feel, you said the words, I feel. Um, but within seconds, um, cause we're both a bit mellow. We're not fully passion orientated this week. We're just being honest, you know, mm -hmm. um, but I could feel the emotions right from the eyes going down, down inside my head, just with that new angel. When you said, Oh, let's call this new angel. Cause I, cause I asked about changing the title last week as well. So maybe we're on the same page. Good. Any shout outs, Modi? Everybody who's doing the inner work, even if, even if don't know your name, because it's the, that coherence, that inner work is about coherence. And the, the, the greater the coherence, the greater the new, the, the greater, the easier it'll be for new angels to work here. Yeah, the exponential part of it. And this, uh, Anybody keeping relatively sane? Because it, I mean, it, it, these, are, these are clearly very difficult times for a lot of people. Um, and, and also, because I mean, they also have to deal with what I consider to be a few pushes by the mass media at the global level to really make people fear this, that, and the other thing. I mean, pick a, pick a topic here or there, there's a few topics. Mm. Um, right now, the big one is, let's not go there. <laughs> mm. um, and I mean, I'm at the point now where even reading or saying, like, it's, it's just like, I don't want, I don't want to feed anything more into the atmosphere. It's like the atmosphere is like, the atmosphere seems like pregnant with this concept of pandemic. Mm. And to me, the only pandemic right now I'm seeing is the gullibility that there is this like a severe threat to or i mean a severe like you know i'm not again this is you know i know what flu seasons are that's the other thing anybody who who knows what's you know seasonal things are and heart any number of things you'll you know you look at this and you you can you can form a sober opinion about it and then of course one's own health and immune system which is always the first line of any defense against anything I mean, that's why nostradamus was able to treat people during the plague without getting it because whatever Whatever that was, he knew what it was, and he was able to keep himself well. Yeah. My immune system, you're pretty well immune. And from what I know of, a lot of it had to do with after he treated each person, he doused himself with some water. Mm. He practiced what the narrative would like, wash your hands, except in his case, he washed his whole self. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yep. I'll do a shout out to everybody doing the inner work. Um, there was a beautiful, uh, I haven't watched, fully watched Matt Khan's latest one, Facing Uncertainty, as I just did. Uh, but one part of it at the start that, that grabbed my attention was uh, s light. <laughs> what, what one? He called it gaslight working. Oh, gaslight. 
you said it's for people like it's um people that haven't done the work they believe they have that's basically in a nutshell um that's cool. very good and and we've all actually we've probably all been there it's a stage in a way i i i believe so anyway we've all met people that are um so certain do you know what i mean you're so certain and at a point uh when you go into your crazy time and you go into i don't know whether um you know every light work goes through it i don't know whether i'm actually creating change here with my light work form they're doing um and after a while you know your knowing kicks in and you're an arrow light work because the knowing is actually the light working you know that's the power uh, but we go through that um, doubt. And uh, so gas light working is a bit of age. Just like the way he said it, he was very proud of himself. Um, those that don't, don't know, it's uh, Matt Khan, YouTube, his latest one. He's, uh, he's one of the foremost teachers, I believe, downloading from the Neurosphere and sharing the way we are. Very, very astute. And it wouldn't we shout out the cranky old man because I, uh, you'll see a lot of things come in on the thread at ATS, and then he will just do a you know, 150 word spell, and you understand that that wisdom is so important, especially when you're getting from second hand because Q is second hand information, mm -hmm. Q material. So people are interpreting it, put in that format for a reason. So when you've got people like Cranky Old Man and uh, Raul, Raul us, all the different ones there, you know, it just makes it Am I cutting out again? Just the last, I don't know, four words. Only the four, last, only the last four words. All the names, there's maybe one more name or one last third phrase there. Oh, it's all good, it's all good. I'm just, I'm just an aura and you know, I've an interpretation when I read something you and 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 then um, Sufi or Rao will do his bit and I'll go, oh my gosh, now how can he so fast assimilate all that information and get what he's getting? Now I don't agree with it all, but I, I you certainly and then you start making your own forming your own thoughts. Just a wee shout out. Okay. So a nice quick one, a cookie. This, yeah, it's probably at least it's probably at least around twenty minutes, I think. Oh, well, that's what we said, twenty minutes. Thanks for doing it, Marty, because uh, you were a bit like, yeah, we were both a bit, yeah, and then it was like, oh, let's give it a crack. Yeah. Blessings. Okay, blessings to you. Wait, hold on, hold on. Oh. And so anyway, I'm just gonna say I'm gonna stop the recording and say goodbye to everybody. And this has been Mystic Brew. And uh, myself, Radagas, and Vernon talking mystic talk, common talk. So new you know, angel talk. New, new angel talk. Mm. <laughs>